Once upon a time in a small, picturesque village, there was a dog named Max, who was beloved by everyone who knew him. Max was a golden retriever with a heart as golden as his fur, and he had an uncanny ability to brighten anyone's day. Max lived with a kind elderly woman named Mrs. Thompson, who had raised him from a puppy. Their bond was incredibly special. They were inseparable. Max had a daily routine that included walks through the village, where he was always greeted with smiles and pats from the locals. He had a way of sensing when someone was feeling down and would gently nudge them with his nose or rest his head on their lap, providing comfort without words. One crisp autumn day, as the leaves danced in the wind, the village was bustling with preparations for the annual harvest festival. Mrs. Thompson and Max were excited for the event. Mrs. Thompson was known for her delicious apple pies, and Max was eagerly anticipating the treats that would be handed out. On the day of the festival, the village square was filled with laughter, music, and the aroma of fresh-baked goods. Max was happily trotting alongside Mrs. Thompson when he noticed a young boy sitting alone on a bench. The boy's name was Sam, and he looked sad as he stared at the ground. Max, with his keen sense of empathy, trotted over to Sam and gently nudged his leg. Sam looked up, surprised to see the friendly dog. Max wagged his tail and sat down next to Sam, offering a comforting presence. Sam's eyes brightened a little as he began to pet Max. It turned out that Sam was new to the village and had been feeling lonely and out of place. Max, sensing that Sam needed more than just company, decided to show him around. With Mrs. Thompson's encouragement, Sam and Max went from stall to stall, enjoying the festival's activities together. Max introduced Sam to the other villagers, and soon enough, Sam was laughing and chatting with the new friends he had made. By the end of the day, Sam's sadness had lifted, and he had a big smile on his face. Mrs. Thompson and Max had not only made the Harvest Festival special for themselves, but also had helped a new friend find joy and belonging in the village. As the sun set and the festival came to an end, Sam's parents thanked Mrs. Thompson and gave Max a special treat for being such a wonderful friend. Max and Sam exchanged a warm hug, and Sam promised to visit Max and Mrs. Thompson often. From that day on, Sam became a regular visitor to Mrs. Thompson's home, and Max was always at his side, ensuring that Sam never felt alone again. The village, now with one more happy face, became a little brighter thanks to the kindness and companionship of a golden retriever named Max.